In a separate screencast I recorded a few minutes ago, we walked through the process of downloading, installing, and activating both Events Calendar Pro 2.0 and the Events Calendar 2.0. But one thing we didn't get to see is what happens if there's an update available, say from 2.0 to 2.1. Let's walk through that now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the back end of my site and I'm going to click into my plugins page. You'll see I currently have the Events Calendar 2.0 active, but Events Calendar Pro 2.0 deactivated. Let's turn that one on. On doing so, you see I get my standard plugin activated message, but there are also a couple others. The one up top here tells me that there's an update available, but that I can't get it yet because I haven't entered my license key. The one that appears down here in the actual plugins list says the same thing, but also allows me this what's new link, which brings up a pop-up, shows me the change log, and if I had entered my key, would allow me to do the upgrade right here. And the other, purchase a license, just takes me back over to the tribe site and allows me to buy a license there. I actually already have one, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Modern Tribe site and I'm going to log in and find this Account Central section. Under the drop down, I'm going to go to the third one, License Keys. And here I can see all the keys associated with all the orders that I've ever placed here on the Modern Tribe website. The most recent one is the one that I want, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this License Key right here. I'm going to go back to the back end of my site. I'm going to click into the events calendar settings and up here where we have the license key field we're going to see that it's blank. Naturally that means that the key hasn't been entered and so we aren't being treated as a pro paid customer. Let's drop that code in. The system will think a minute, tell me that it's valid, tell me when it expires and so I know that it's in if I got a red message here telling me that that was uh, an unusable license for whatever reason because it's out of installs, because it's expired, whatever, then I'd have to go back to the tribe page and buy a new license. But since I got this nice green message, this means that I'm all set. Let's go down to the bottom, save our changes, make sure that upon saving the license key does remain in the field up here, and now let's go back to the plugin list and see if any of those warning messages are gone. They are. Now it's a much more condensed message telling me that there is an update available and that I can either view the details or update automatically. We already looked at the details in the change log pop-up, so let's just update automatically. Goes through the regular motions, tells me what it's doing. And when I get this plugin reactivated successfully message, I know that the job has been accomplished and that everything that I wanted to get done is done. If I go back to the plugins page, it should now say 2.1. And indeed it does. I am on version 2.1 of Events Calendar Pro. I don't have any more warning messages. And I am considered a licensed user. If I go back over to my license keys page and refresh, this field, which is previously blank, will now have the URL of the site in question, roblegata.com, which is our WordPress testing environment. If I want to, for whatever reason, remove the license from this site so that it is no longer able to use this license and this license here is free to be used on a separate site, all I would have to do is come to this unregister option, click the button, and confirm accordingly in the pop-up. There you have it.